Welcome back, guys. It's time to play some Grim Dawn. I couldn't get this to play on the actual game, so I had to look it up on uh, YouTube's. So apologies if this is loud. Actually, I already know what it is. We paid a heavy price, but the trap worked. You seem surprised. It's been a while since we've had a win. How long will it hold? I've never entrapped a being like this. But the bonds hold. For now. How do we dispose of it? I'm just a witch. You're the soldier. If it bleeds, I can kill it. How do you kill a spirit, though? If you kill the mortal vessel while it's bound, the spirit may perish within. If it escapes... It's listening to us. What are you? Others of your kind name us the Furion. Why have you invaded our world? Your world. We existed first and were managed by your corrupt gods. Your pride opened the way, and now we return to reclaim what my might should be ours. I've heard enough of this rubbish. Let's hang it. Destroy this vessel, and I will find another. I have tasted its desires and emotions. Your kind is weak. You have already lost this war. Do it. Captain! Cut him down! What? Are you mad? Better safe than sorry. The spirit has fled. This is a human now. The captain is correct. When they awaken, they won't remember a thing. The ethereal was right. The war is lost. We're a resistance now. And we need every human survivor we can call to our cause. Maybe this one here can still die with some honor. If they ever wake up, send them to me. If they don't, bury them deep with the others. Whew, okay. Doop. All right. Okay. And then, normally you'd go into the where we're getting ready to go to so let's but I, I, I couldn't get I couldn't find it anywhere here so let's let's start so after you see that it would load and then you would come into right here so there's the noose they hung us from still drawing breath I see you're one lucky bastard I'll give you that best go speak to Captain Bourbon right away he seems to have a plan for you spared your life you were possessed so we what happened how to get up. here seems the spirit fled your body before your life ran out I'd have left you to hang but uh, the captain had other plans he sees some purpose in you and I'm not going to argue He's all right don't make me regret cutting you down I'll be on my way then what a nice guy. What are you? Chester? Chester the Molester. We'll take six scrap and 3,000 iron bits to repair the bridge. Okay. Interesting. Alright, let's go talk to this cap Cappy Captain. That's one of the first things we're going to have to do. Not you. You. are looking too bad for someone just come back from the brink of death. You were taken, possessed by the same creatures that have been reanimating these zombies here. Normally, I'd have burned you with the rest to be safe, but Thanks. we've lost too many people for the dead. I need someone expendable. Oh, they're fighting someone up there already. To lose, but a lot to gain. Right now, you are that person. Look at that. Prove your worth to me, and the survivors of Devil's Crossing may just welcome you. What does it you want me to do? The dead are rising again in some horrible unlife. Corpses don't just get up and move around on their own. Something is reanimating our deceased with ethereal energy. Hmm. We have observed the dead for some time, and they appear to be flooding Lower Crossing from the burial hill just beyond town. 
Okay. I want you to go to the burial hill, find whatever is controlling these abominations, and destroy it. You will need to fight your way through Lower Crossing. Once you've crossed the stream on the far side of town, there will be a beaten path leading up the burial hill. I know I'm asking a lot of you, but I'd be asking a lot of my people to welcome you with open arms, too. Help us in our hour of need, and I will open Devil's Crossing to you. Okay, I can do that. Anything else? Anybody? This guy. Ah, you must be the Taken. I heard about that mess at the gallows. Grisly business. I don't care for it. I'm quite eager to learn more about you, but you really should speak to the captain before wandering too much. Okay. Fine, I won't talk to you then. Alright, so let's go this way. Okay, inventory. Let's throw that on. Can't use that. Uh, toss that. Uh, how do I? Hmm. Because it thinks this is my first character. Alright, let's go. And wreck all this. Let's see if we can find us some. There's some scrap. That's good. Come here, zombie zombie. There we go. Nothing in here. Got you. I am unstoppable. What are you? Come on. What's up? You want some? Searing Ember and I got a level. Okay. Select class. Soldier? Okay, <clears throat> hang on a second. Let's get over here where I feel a bit safer. Yeah? Yeah. Here? Here. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What, uh, what just happened? Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> I was like, where, where did everything go? Alright. So. I can be a soldier. Soldiers of the Imperial Army were trained to survive. Okay. I already know what I want to be. I want to be a necromancer. That's what I want to be. Demolitionists is kind of cool. Pyrotechnic masters of the Imperial, Imperial Army. Demolitionists are part engineer and part sorcerer. So these are like guns and blow up stuff. Um... But no, we're going to go Necromancer. Boom. So I've got three points, which is going to go into raise. Wait, one here, one here, one here. Two there, I guess. So, and that'll be... Three skeletons all ready. Okay. Ah, love it. Let's go farm up some experience for, like, free. So while you guys, yeah, I want to come and make sure I, explore everything, because there's stuff we've got to find, not to mention scrap, that's cool, ooh, Oh, I got a gun. Uh, I got a gun already. It's two-handed, but look at that. I've got a gun. Huge. Okay. So there are shrines that we've got to find and unlock devotion points. It's like, um... How do I describe it? Where was it? Here? Okay, so... There are, all, there are 55 points, which means there are 55 of these shrines, and <clears throat> you have to find all of them to unlock, and these are like complete boost. 
See? So it depends on, on where you want to go with your builds on how you spend your devotion points. So, just keep that in mind. As I wander through, blow you guys away. Actually, I think I'm shooting the tree. Or I'm missing. Nope. Don't need those. I need yellow items. Blue or green. I think it's green. Or purple? I don't know. Yeah, this gun is where it's at. Nice. Already another level. We're gonna do long episodes because I wanna. I really wanna get through this. Oh, hello. Nice. Super easy. Thank you, Skeletons. Uh, yeah, let's go through here. Nice. Go explore all this. Which doesn't look like much, does it? No. It's okay. That's alright. Gotta get in the habit of exploring everything. Okay. Let's level up. Let's just throw the three into there. I got that so fast, I didn't even realize that I got it. Ooh, there we go. Hang on. Nothing? Okay. Ah, uh, there was another barrel in there, but I'll ignore it. A door? There is a door. Okay, first entry. Second entry. Let's see. Okay. Oh, nice experience. Okay. I'm currently en route to the village of Burwich uh, in order to investigate a number of strange incidents that have been reported in this area at dusk. As dusk is drawing near, and the swamps of this region are said to be hazardous to travel at night, I've reluctantly taken up lodging in a small squalid tavern in Lower Crossing, which is, I guess, where we're at. Perhaps I am wary from the hurried travels, but I feel as if there's a strange pressure and electricity in the air. It is almost akin to the still before me, a thunderous summer gale, but yet the sun sh shines and I clap, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so he's feeling all right. As I was packing to resume my journey to Burwich, my sister was urgently requested uh, lodging camp in the old grove west of Devil's Crossing, where strange animal attacks had left three lumbermen listless and pale. Uh oh. Very sad. For meant to inform me that. The hmm. Uh oh. Oh, excuse me. Had a sip of coffee and almost choke myself. Ah, excuse me. Show me the remains of the animals too great fast. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. That's less. That's less. Let's throw that on. Nice. Okay. Here we go. Get all that. What is this? Untouched meal. I don't know what that is. Nothing here? Okay. Ooh, can I cross? Nice. Nice, another level up. Oh, you guys are eating, eating some of these bullets, huh? That's fine. 
That's fine. We're all going to die here. Calm down. Where are you from? I was staying with a group of survivors down in Devil's Crossing. You know, the old prison. The supplies started running low. I volunteered to go scavenging around Lower Crossing. Figured it was safe enough, but I was wrong. I got chased in here by a pack of ravenous rift scrooges. Though I can't hear their maddening skittering anymore. I suppose that I have you to thank for that. It doesn't matter, though. The area is overrun with the dead. We won't make it. Uh, five feet. Okay. Way back should be clear now. I'm not going Going back out there, the devil find us. Open a rift gate. Do I even know that? Wow, I don't think I know that. I don't think in this. Oh, hmm. I don't think the story has told me that I know rift gates yet. So interesting. Oh, you just popped in. Hello. see a rift gate up there that oh no you're one of mine what do you guys look like okay not bad just regular little skeletons giant mosquitoes oh you're my worst enemy I like you guys the least out of everything so far okay I didn't think so nothing here but let's continue on actually oops wrong not paying attention. Paying attention to this. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay, so because next level up we'll get that. Now this. I can't do that yet. Hang on. Where does it got uh, three is the limit? Okay, but oh, two of them have armor now. That's nice. You guys should be tough. Here's a rift gate. Nice. So now I can go home if I want. And we are at Burial Hill for the first quest. I'm already level four. Easy peasy. Let's go in here. Ah, the source of the dead is near. There's those. <laughs> Easy enough. Before I forget, let's grab both of these. Oh look, I think this is one of the shrines. Scrap. Aether crystal. Give me that. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, offer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now here, if you go to devotion, right, we have one point. Oh, now 
the question is where do we want to go with it? I think it's this. Down this way. For some poison stuff. I feel that's the the appropriate thing to do for being a, a necromancer. Let's get some poison going. Right? Yeah, totally. Nice, we'll take that. Makes up for the one that we just used. Nice, there's another level up. You're just rocking it. Cracked lodestone. All right, let's do this. What do we got? Hmm. So. Binding spirits is a dangerous practice, but one that can be vastly rewarding with forgotten knowledge or even protection. By forcing the spirits of the fallen to serve, you become infused with their essence, granting you vitality and further control over your necrotic powers. This ability must be toggled to maintain its effect. 0.8 active energy per second. So this is... just makes me stronger. Okay. Hmm. I have six points available. Let's. There. What is this? Plus one to the limit. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, Blight Fiend is soon too. Okay. So, let's. One. And then go through here. Then, oh, nope, this way. Okay, here we go. And then do this again. There we go. Four. Nice. <laughs> Whoa, hey, cave entrance. Oh, I, I remember this. Standing in the water is dangerous. Oh, look at all the baddies. Oh no. Oh, oh. Okay. Alright, so now, like, I need to. No? I was really hoping to find some scrap down here. Nothing? No scrappy scrap? Alright, let's let's get out. Let's let's come right here. Let's open a rift gate. Let's go through the rift gate and back to Devil's Crossing. Okay. You Dead attacks have slowed and their numbers are thinning. I take that as a sign that you've dealt with the source? A creature was doing this? Disturbing. Thanks to your efforts, we may yet hold out here a little longer. I've sent word to the gate guard. Speak to him and he should let you in. Take some well-deserved time to rest and recover. Welcome to Devil's Crossing. We need some time to plan our strategy. In the meantime, there are others around Devil's Crossing who could use your help. Take a moment to mingle with your fellow survivors.
Kasparov, our resident scientist, is really eager to speak with you. He babbled some nonsense, but I believe he wants to talk about your connection with the Ethereals. Barnabas, our handyman, said he needed help with our water pump. When you're done assisting them, speak with me in my office inside the prison. Welcome to my workshop. I saw you fighting the dead out in Lower Crossing, and I dare say you were absolutely brilliant. Evidently, cutting you off that noose was the best decision the captain made that day. Ah, where are my manners? I'm Kasparov, scientist and inventor. What brings you to my humble shop? Rift gates, yes. The ethereals use them to get around. I was working on a way to close them, but then you stumbled through ours. We have never seen a human, possessed or otherwise, pass through one before. Not a living one, anyway. It was then that I realized that we could put these portals to use. There is something about you that is attuned to the rift gates, and I intend to replicate it. You don't remember anything. I may have taken some liberties while you were out cold. It was just a few tests, a blood sample or two, nothing major. The results were curious. It appears that your body is still teeming with residual aether energies. Don't worry, you won't be growing any new limbs, probably. But I'm going on tangents here. I believe that with a correctly tuned pulse of aether energy, we can replicate this phenomenon in a controlled manner, as in without the need for pesky possession. I've been working on just the device to do it, but it needs power. For that, I require aether crystal fragments. Excellent. These will do perfectly. I'll just place them into my device here and... Oh my, that's not right. Not at all. That pulse, it wasn't supposed to go off. you too. How do you feel? Ah, very good. I'm sure a little more aether in your system won't do you the slightest harm. Okay, maybe it won't so long. But you look fine. Fitter than ever. A real shame about the prototype, though. Showed such promise. Perhaps if I had more fragments. Ah, we've been so preoccupied with this Riftgate business that I completely forgot about my apprentice, Starlet. I sent her out to the Burwich Estates to fetch parts for our research, and she's been gone entirely too long. Seems her ineptitude carries beyond just the workstation. I have to say, I do feel a little responsible for her now that she's my apprentice. Could you please go out there and find that hopeless girl? Okay, Whew. he rattles on, but that's sorry. I, I, I like the character build up. Ooh, what do you got for me? I hear you've been cleaning up out there in Lower Crossing. If you're going to keep fighting those bastards, you'll need better equipment than that. Here's something you'll likely never see again in this world, stranger. Something for nothing. Take care. Take some iron coin off my hands. I don't need water. Why are you helping me? You see, they killed my Annabelle back when the village was first overrun. Ain't nothing going to bring her back. And if it tries, I'll put a bullet through her skull. I got nothing left but revenge, so I pay good iron for those willing to... To those willing to go and put down those abominations, take Pharaoh's Judas and Negan, for instance, used to be good men defending the empire. Now nothing more than shambling fiends stalking the swamp lands of Whitmire. Slaughter them. Continue. Put them in the dirt like they ought to be, and I'll give you some more iron from my, from my stash. Okay, so kill three people. So it's not really something for nothing, but I I, I got gotcha. you. The captain sent you over. You must have done quite a service with the dead. He's got hands to spare for old Barnabas. Let's get to business, yeah? Our wind pump's broken down again, and we're running low on water. We're all out of parts, so I can't fix her up. We can always melt down what weapons we have, but I'm not too fond of being fire device. I'll need scrap from Lower Crossing. Impressive. We hadn't had much luck scavenging for supplies on account of the dead swarming Lower Crossing. I'll get the wind pump up and running in no time. Devil's Cross will have safe drinking water again, and it's all thanks to you. First class is on me. Well, the good news is, I got the water pumping again. The only problem is, it smells like a sewer. Maybe about a tenfold worse. Well, I haven't smelled something this rotten since. Since I cleared out a den of slip ages ago. There are low 
some reptiles make their homes in swamps and dank caves. They secrete a nasty poison into the water that makes it drinkable for them, but nearly always fatal to us. One day, Drew and I are near the nest in that cave that fuels our pump. I'm too old for all this spelunking, so I need you to go down there and kill it. This key will open the cellar in the shack behind me, right by that accursed rift gate. It connects to the bowels of the prison, which should lead you to the cave. Find the Slith Matriarch that's likely to pollute in our water supply, and the poison should clear out on its own. You do this, and all the Devil's Crosses will be honoring your name with every glass. Okay, we'll do that. Let me go ahead and run up here, make sure none of these people want to talk. Good, nothing there. I don't think I have six more scrap. I'm almost positive I don't. Yeah, okay, so let's go and we'll finish up the episode. Ooh. Nice. Test dummies. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, we, we. Okay, one's Barnabas. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No worries. The captain said you're good to go. Don't start any trouble. Thanks. Guy. Oh, there's more experience. Ooh, I'll, hang on. Let's, ooh, yeah, let's do this too. Alright. Tend to cunning and lightning resist. Energy regenerated per second. It's cunning and health. That's a cell, that's a cell. That's gone. That's gone, that's gone. Goodbye. Yep, yep, okay. Bam. Okay. Uh, well, I'll be damned. You really came through for me. The rift took me back to Devil's Crossing, just as you promised. You're welcome. I, I'd like to thank you. Here, take everything I found out there. It's not much, but maybe you can make some use of it. Thanks. I got one piece of scrap, some reputation, and some iron, and a little bit of experience. Nice. I'm sorry to bother you, but uh, I, if you're headed out towards Whitmire, could you keep an eye out for my brother? Who is he? His name is Milton, Milton Hart. He was a soldier in the Imperial Army. When we fled Burwich, he volunteered to uh, cover our escape. He always had a penchant for heroics. But it has been weeks, and we have not heard from him. I, dr I dread to think that he may have become one of the dead. He always wore an amulet, and I gave him years ago to keep him safe. Now I fear it may be preserving him in undeath. I wish nothing for my brother to be allowed to rest in peace. Will you do this for me? Continue. We saw each other at the Sodden Hollow in Whitmire, so I'm afraid he's still out there. Okay, so I'll go kill another person. Nice. I'm never going out there again. You said you came from Burwich? Yes, I had a home in Wood Road before it fell to the... It was a terrible fire. Dead air would... Captain Bourbon. Savior, it was Captain Bourbon who found us hiding in the boarding house. He personally ran up through many survivors and let us here in the wilderness, even though that uh, sounds like him. Captain is a hero. It sounds like it was a difficult journey. I don't know if I want to praise the captain just yet. I mean, yeah, he saved me, but. Okay, here, Please, let's talk child. to you. I am pleased to see that the taint of possession has left you. Should you require it. I offer spiritual guidance to the survivors. I will gladly extend this service to you. Are you the one who stopped me when I was possessed? My knowledge of spirits has allowed me to devise a trap with which we were able to contain you and the ethereal that controlled you. It was not until the noose was firmly around your neck that the spirit left you, though. Why haven't you dealt with the reanimator then? You mentioned spiritual guidance. Troubled memories can cloud the mind and torment the spirit. With my guidance, you can move past these painful thoughts and begin anew. Okay. So she lets me redo my skills, I think, or something like that. This guy's my stash. That's auto sore and. 
Do you know what? I'm actually... I'm gonna keep that. I don't think I need scrap as a... As a source. Okay, is that everybody? That's everybody. Okay, cool. I'm gonna call it here. Just because we've gotten the, the... What I feel is the beginning parts done. <clears throat> I mean, there's still other beginning parts. But, like, that was, like, the, the basics. So, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one. Later.